As you're probably aware, OpenAI has recently demonstrated its new Sora AI model that can turn text into video with just a few prompts. You just give it a few prompts, describe what you want, and it goes off and generates a video. And it's getting incredibly realistic to the point where it's becoming very difficult to tell the difference between reality and AI fantasy. All of these videos are AI. The AI is learning and advancing and becoming better all the time. It's actually a concern, if I'm honest, because I think we've opened a Pandora's box now and I don't know where we go from here. Certainly people have pointed to the benefits. Hollywood potentially becoming defunct and irrelevant. I mean, you wouldn't need to film anything anymore. Actors may not be necessary at all. You might just have to shoot some scenes or use some actors for minor reference purposes, perhaps. But for the most part, all of the work of production crews and post-production crews won't be needed. And think of all the money that could be saved. Hundreds of millions, billions per year. And there's a lot of people who are celebrating this, understandably. I have no love for Hollywood in its current form. And people say, isn't this great? Soon anyone will be able to make incredible films and visual art with just a few text commands. Maybe some reference footage and bang, you build and edit a film in minutes. In the immediate term, this looks like an imagination machine of near infinite power where anything can be conceptualized and produced. Not just this particular AI tool, but other such technologies that will emerge and will enable extraordinary degrees of content creation. And some have said, isn't this like the birth of a new printing press in a way? The ability for everyone to tell stories that previously couldn't be told. A new generation of AI-based filmmakers, people who previously had zero filmmaking skills. They can now make films. Isn't this amazing? Like I say, I have no love for Hollywood, but I do have a great deal of love for the art form of filmmaking and all of the skills that that entails. And I actually think that we should consider where these AI systems will take us, not just in the short term, not in respect to immediate novelty or entertainment purposes or the pure cool factor that will wear off in a matter of months, but more than that, long term. What will this do to us? What will such technology do to our culture? I'm glad we've automated many laborious tasks. It's nice to have a washing machine and a tumble dryer, but blue collar manual labor work has increasingly been made redundant over the years, putting millions of people out of jobs, humans replaced with robots. And people are told just to, you know, reskill, go into a different field, preferably a white collar field, sit at a desk and enter stuff into spreadsheets all day. But that was just a retreat to a safe place until such time as white-collar jobs got the same treatment. AI is not some cool new tool or innovation that is designed to make our lives easier or give us more free time. It's the very last step in the replacement of human beings in the labor market. If human beings aren't needed for physical work, and someday soon they won't be needed for mental work either, what purpose will human beings have? What meaning will they be able to derive from life? What function will they be able to assume? And by the way, I don't mean to ask this question from a purely economic, industrial, or mechanistic perspective. We obviously shouldn't view human beings as little more than widgets or cogs in the economic engine of the labor market for the purposes of raising GDP per capita. I'm not talking about the utilitarian usefulness of a person as a taxable wage slave working for a corporation. I'm talking about the more philosophical aspect of the meaning of life. There has to be some kind of reason for being, some reason to get out of bed in the morning, some adversity or struggle for man to overcome to derive a feeling of fulfillment and a sense of accomplishment in the process of putting food on the table. Humanity en masse cannot become idle. We as a species must be kept occupied with meaningful toil and not simply reduced to being domesticated animals in a zoo or a farm where all of our 
basic needs are supplied for and catered to by machines. Machines that rob us of our usefulness. And now, with the advent of neural network AIs, it will be possible for even our cognitive labor to be automated. So what becomes of our quality of life? Are we to be living in some sort of Ready Player One existence or something from the movie WALL-E, where we engage only in hedonistic and frivolous pursuits, where we just watch entertainment all day until we die, living in matrix-like virtual worlds created and run by AI to keep us somewhat satiated and docile. People think that AI will be used purely as a tool to help shortcut the creative process or to speed up cerebral labor, but I don't think this is the case. I liken it to when a chess computer program was finally developed that could beat the best chess masters in the world forever. Right? That was like a mini singularity in itself. A threshold had been crossed where no longer human beings were the master of an activity they created. And now another far more serious threshold looks set to be passed. AI is going to get better and better and will eventually exceed the human potential when it comes to all cerebral labor, including creativity. So for some time, humans will use AI to make art, write books, make films, just using a few prompts, right? We will guide the AI and have it help us make new and exciting stories until such time as the human prompts themselves are no longer needed and the AI will simply know us so well it will be able to produce more sophisticated and creative works of art, films, books, games faster, more competently and more frequently than human beings could ever do. You see, the very concept of the AI is that more and more links in the creative chain become automated. Not just most of those links, not just some of them, but eventually all of them, including the need for human involvement. So where is this leading? Well, possibly the idea of a useless class of humans that Yuval Noah Harari has spoken of. I fear that man's cognitive and creative capabilities will atrophy to such a degree that humanity will simply forget how to tell intelligent and creative stories. Because these skills will have been outsourced to machines who can do it all better and infinitely faster. I mean, look at many members of Gen Z. Right? A lot of them cannot read cursive handwriting because of computers in schools. The art and skill of cursive handwriting is no longer taught. So could there be a future generation that cannot do very much of anything for itself because it's all been farmed out to robots and artificial intelligence? If human beings are no longer needed for their bodies or their minds, what will be left for them? To sit all day with a VR headset, scrolling, swiping and watching content that a machine created for them, living in virtual and augmented worlds created by machines until such time as the VR headset goes away and is then replaced by a neural link implant. So the AIs have decades of human-created content to draw from and extrapolate from, which is what it's doing when it creates something new. Paintings, photographs, videos, sound, music, blog posts, books, films, all of this is consumed, understood, absorbed, condensed and riffed on, approximated, remixed and transformed into something new. And in the beginning, people will look upon AI's incredible potential and creations with a mix of disbelief and shock at how amazingly believable these things are, how they look so real, and the wow factor, the cool factor, will eventually be replaced by a sinking uh-oh feeling, a realization that our merciless technological advancement has gone too far and crossed a Rubicon. Humanity will have built a machine that has made us redundant and irrelevant. So to people who say, this is great, we can take on Hollywood, yeah, big deal, you're missing the point. Forget about Hollywood, that should be the least of your concerns. The AI will eventually be able to take on you. I mean, do you want all filmmaking, writing, editing, and, and the storytelling skills that we've developed over decades to atrophy in the next generation because they no longer need those skills. 
the AI is handling all of it for them. I mean, do we want a machine that can checkmate us, not just in chess, but in every area we as humans once dominated? So how do we stop this? How do we avoid the idiocracy level dumbing down of humanity? Well, at some point, we have to decide collectively to step away from the machines. At some point, a technological regression becomes the only choice. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.